Hello Mariners, welcome back to the channel, I am Partos and welcome back to lovely Sailwind. And now the time has come for the great epic adventure. The voyage to take us all the way from Gold Rock City to Dragon Cliff across the world map from one extreme west to the extreme east further by far than we have ever been before. So I suppose we should get some supplies. So reading the comments, what some people have been saying is we should take at least four barrels of water, about four boxes of uncooked meat, a stove, a couple of boxes of firewood, fish hooks, and that's all before we get the mission cargo, which makes the whole journey, which is the whole point of the journey in the first place. That is a lot of stuff. I don't think everybody commenting quite realised that we were going on this tiny little vessel here. <laughs> We're not getting the big vessel. I don't think we can afford the bigger vessel to be honest. We have to go in this little vessel. Let's see what we can get and then we'll uh, decide then. Yeah, let's sell this. Oh, well, I just picked up the grain. Apparently, yeah, you can't actually. I did wonder if we can kind of, if we can eat out the grain. We can't eat out the grain box. It really is just a trade goods. And we can sell it for 1,080, which is nice. Like it's night time now, so I'm just looking through the missions and it appears that Goods Dragon's Cliff, £80 were in weight for, for two of them. Quite a lot of money, but £80 or two. We got some cheese to Dragon Cliffs. There's two of them, but only £15 in weight. I'm not sure if that's both of them or one each. It'd be nice if that's a bit clearer, but that's okay. The least weight I found is dates, £4.6, but it's six days. Don't know if it'll take 36 days to get there or not. I'm not sure. I don't know how long it'll take to get there. Anyway, let's sleep first and get some stuff in the morning. The one thing I know I'm gonna need is, even right now, is water. So let's buy some water. Should we buy a stove? That's the question. Should we buy a stove? How heavy is that gonna be? It's gonna be really, really, really heavy, isn't it? But could we risk it? I reckon we could maybe do it. I think everybody in the comments is like, no, pass us. Don't buy a stove, it's way too heavy. And that, I think, is the main reason I've got to do it. Because you're all saying, no, don't do it, it's impossible. It's a crazy plan. And so, yep, it's happening. <laughs> this is gonna be way too heavy, isn't it? Oh dear. As you can see, I'm already like stacking the things up. I've got, I've got, uh, well, I'll go through it in a bit what we've got. I've got, we've got, we're going to have time to go through what we've got. How heavy is that going to be? But anyway, let's buy a couple of firewood. Hopefully wood's not too heavy. But we're going to stick most of the stuff at the back. For you there, I'm hoping things aren't going to fall overboard. I think one more load of firewood. And what the plan is, is to catch the fish and cook the fish. And that will help us be nourished but we'll see how it goes so so far we've still got the lamb which we had left over from the previous voyage i bought some extra fishing hooks so two lots of fishing hooks we've still got some fishing hooks left over so we've got quite a few fishing hooks we've got 50 odd fishing hooks left a couple of dates which are mission cargo which are quite light over towards the back we've got two lots of goat cheese then we've got regular cheese these have got 36 days to get there and each one of these missions is going to give us about 3,000 gold once we get to the destination. And I think that's probably it. We could even take more cargo, like mission cargo, but I think that's it. I'm tempted to buy one box of meat extra just to have back here somewhere, just in case it all goes horribly wrong. We get really like hungry. I'm tempted to do that. But the main thing we need to get is I'm going to buy a bottle of water just... I'm just going to keep it there. Oh, we need to buy a lantern. I sold the old lantern which had run out. So let's buy another one of these. And now uh, how much we got? We've got 3k left. Or anything fancy over here that we might need. Oh, spyglass. I think we're going to have to get the spyglass. There's two of them. So we either get the this one, 840, or this one, which is bigger, or 1750. I think we're going to have to get this one. I don't know the difference. And that is actually, the Corona Compass is still actually too expensive for us. Fine, let's get one of these. Oh! Hang on, I didn't realize we could have a go. Yeah, that's not quite as good. Put that down. I wonder if it's. I'm not sure if it's any better than. I don't know if it's any better. 
Okay, so like, look at that orange pillar there. Pick this up. It's slightly bigger, but I think it's probably the same as if you just put it to the edge of the, the corner of the screen. If I put it to the corner of the screen there and have it in the middle here, I mean, yeah, I'm not sure what that does, honestly. It's fine. You can point it straight out what you want to look at. But apart from that, it seems a bit, a bit of a novelty there. A bit of a waste of money, maybe. But that's okay. Let's go on our grand voyage to Dragon Cliffs. Quick look at the map before we head off. We're going to go from Gold Rock City in the bottom left there in the Al Ank region all the way to Dragon Cliffs in the Emerald Archipelago region at around roughly 31 degrees latitude. So a bit more than that. Yeah, rough 31 and a bit more. If we go anywhere between 31 and uh, 32, we should probably be good for being able to navigate. But as long as we stay in that rough range, I think we'll be okay. So let's um, drop this down somewhere there. And we're going to have to go. That's it. This is it. This is the moment. This is the moment, guys. The moment we've all been waiting for. Let's uh, wheel to the left. Let's drop the sails. I haven't even checked the state of the wind. Of course, the wind's blowing us onto the. <laughs> of course, the wind's blowing us onto the uh, the jetty wall. But we'll have to go straight a bit first, so we pick up some speed. Oh, do you know what we haven't done? We haven't taken the ropes off. There we go. So I've probably got a bit too much cargo on the right hand side here. It could of course be the wind blowing. There have been a few game changes, a few updates that have changed the physics of the uh, how the ship slash boat operates. But that's okay. Uh, let's go hard left actually and try and get through the headwind here and go out in the correct direction first of all. We are laden down more than we've ever been laden down before. Okay, we've made it through the headwind there. This is a big moment, guys. This is a big moment. We are going to say goodbye to the entire Al Ang region. I'll sort out the Ottoman angle of the south once we get property out there but yeah we're doing good we're doing good I mean we just started we can't go that bad I mean to be fair to be fair we have done pretty bad in previous just started missions but so far so good look how shallow the water is there so blue goodbye gold rock city we're leaving you for, I don't know when we're going to come back. Look at that massive ship over there. Which we could have potentially bought if we saved up and done this voyage. In a much safer and more sensible way. But who are we to be safe and sensible? Who are we? Don't even know where the, the compass is. <laughs> Did anyone see the compass? I mean, we've got. Oh no, there's a compass in the in my inventory, of course. All right, let's just head east. Without further ado, as long as we don't run aground, we'll be fine. Okay, we're going to get. We're going to be a bit closer to a land bank. I mean, when have we ever ran aground? It will be fine. It feels like the start of something epic here. You can just imagine some people on, on the jetty waving us off, saying goodbye to us, not knowing when they're going to see us again. Goodbye, Gold Rock City. Going past the final land banks there. Heading out into the big blue.
Okay, so let's decide how we're going to have the sails. If we are going to continue this direction, actually the sail's pretty good for the wind. That's at like a 45 degree angle, that's pretty good. So that's, that's pretty good. Can't complain, to be fair. Can't complain. One thing we're going to have to start remembering to do on this voyage is using the old compass. Whatever this compass is called, I forget what it's called now, the old sundial compass. When the sun is on the southerly direction, meaning it's at the highest point of the day, midday, the shadow will point towards north and will tell us how far north and south we are on, on the latitude lines. That'll be good. Just remember to do it, Parthos. Remember to do it. If I can remember to do this once on this entire voyage and get it done correctly, it will be amazing. It will be amazing. Goodbye, Gold Rock City. For well, maybe the last time ever. I'm sure we'll be back. I'm sure we'll be back. Maybe we'll be back in a bigger ship. A bigger vessel. I feel like we're kind of prepared. I don't think anything will go wrong. Our current missions are to take dates, cheese and goat cheese to Dragon Cliffs. We are on day 34 of our maritime adventure. Day 34 is actually day one of the Dragon Cliffs voyage. Morale is high. We have a fully stocked ship full of food, water, mission goods, fishing hooks. We've even got a stove and some firewood. Let's just make sure we continue on the east. Make sure you go properly east. I don't want you getting a course. Such a long voyage that a little bit off is a big issue actually. Uh, hang on, how's the how's the sun in the west? <laughs> how is the sun in the west already? No way did I miss it. Oh maybe I just left oh okay, I think it I left it late to leave. Oh, I didn't realise it was so late when we left. I took a long time getting all this prepared, I suppose. That's okay. Nearly bedtime. It'll be our first sleep on the uh, adventure, the great adventure. We don't need to know where we are now anyway, just need to know where we are tomorrow. Okay, the wind is now pointing more... Let's let us let this out a bit because get that forty five degrees. A bit of um, tilt is not bad. As long as you're not letting water in, it's pretty. It's okay. If you're not wet, letting water in, and you've got the forty five degree cell, you're fine. It's fine. Everything's good. We're doing well, we're doing well. Gold Rock City is getting smaller and smaller. Okay, let's have some comments, guys. How likely am I to make this? How likely? How far... How have I done so far with supplies? Do you know what? I was even doubting whether that stove would be too heavy. But we've got a stove now. Oops, where have we got it? Where is it? We've got a stove here. It should be okay. I've never used it. That that is going to be an exciting thing. <gasps> so I should probably be catching fish in my downtime. Ready for tomorrow. Let me see if I can catch one fish ready for tomorrow to eat. I won't make you watch us. I've got my little alcove, my little alcove here from my little fishing spot. Oh, we've, got a, we've hooked one. What is this? There's a big one. It's a tuna. I'll cook that up tomorrow. Good night, guys. It's our first sleep on the voyage. Okay, we've woke up. Morning is happening. Really, really thirsty. I tried to stay asleep the whole time. Let's fill this up. Right, let's make sure first of all we're still going east. What's that over there? 
Hang on, what's that? Where's the telescope? Telescope. What is that? What the heck is that? Um. What? What? What, what is that? Okay, we're gonna have to make a detour. I don't know. We're gonna, I've got to see what that is. What is that? I didn't want to go away from east, but it's a black square floating on the horizon. <laughs> what? What is it? I think this may be a floating bug, but it's kind of what I'm guessing it is. I can still see some islands over there, which is, I guess, dragons. Which is, um... What is the... What is this? Hey, Dev. What is it? <laughs> it's, it's a cell box. Oh, well, okay. Okay. That 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 was something. All right, let's head back east. <laughs> you left. Know, I didn't think I'd see something like that. But you know, Dev, if you're watching, you've you've left you left something. You left your trash out. You left your cell box out. Right. That's early access, that's okay. Let's see how the fireplace works. Right, where's our wood? Firewood. Right click, take one out. Is it just one we need? There we go. Put you in there to cook. Put you in there to cook. Let's cook a couple of fishies. Hopefully it doesn't burn the ship down. And hopefully this will help us uh, stay nourished a lot more than had we not had this. I guess now I change colour when they're cooked. I'm going to keep watching it because I don't want to miss it. I don't want to... What I definitely don't want to do is burn them. It takes a while, I didn't think it would take that so long. Oh, let's check our compass, where are we? Yeah, the sun is in the east. It's morning, it's definitely morning. We haven't missed it, we're good. Wait for this to change colour. Any more bugs in the sky? No. Okay, so the wind is blowing, let's have a wind check here. No, we're good for wind, we're good. I'm not sure how long is it going to take to cook. Will it change colour? I might have to eat one before uh, too long because we might starve soon. Starving to death waiting for your food to cook. I kind of feel like capturing more fish while we're waiting, but... I'm guessing what's going to happen is it'll cook and then it'll be a very short time before it burns but a long time to cook I don't even know if it has changed colour now in other games it's like a kind of like a switch has flipped and it changes kind of colour from like uncooked to cooked if this game is a kind of slow gradual change of colour that's going to be a lot harder, harder to tell hmm right so a quick look at this because time does go quite fast in this game not that fast though are these cooked? Do what, I'm going to eat one and leave the other one on there. I don't know if it's my mind, but I do look a bit less vibrant than before. So maybe it's cooked now? Don't know. <laughs> don't know. Let's have one though. That didn't give us much. I don't think it was cooked. Uh, that now looks properly red. 
Actually, maybe that one. That definitely looks a different colour now. There's no blue in it left. I'm guessing that is cooked now. Let's eat this one. I mean, it's smoking hot. Um, didn't really fed us up as much as I hoped it would. But that's okay. Right. Day 35, which is day two in the, of the voyage. We cooked two fish. At least we think we have. So far, morale remains high. Food and water remains high. We continue on our destination to Dragon Cliffs. Okay, we're here. Look, it's 30 degrees. Oh, 30 degrees or is that like okay just above just above 30 so yeah that's 31 I think we, we, we're good so whatever this is whatever this shows now because we can still see dragon cliff there we pretty much know that this is okay, it's kind of moved now but that is kind of like pretty much where we want to be the shadow moves fast as the shadow moves fast as the sun. It doesn't stay there for long. But yeah, around the area, just above that 30 line, that's kind of what it was. It looked like. We saw it. We saw it. We saw what it looked like. That's what we need to have uh, each day. We get one shot at looking at it. I caught this fish, a shimmer towel. They're not good eating really, but... Um, we're still going east? Oh, we're not. We need to, like... We need to maintain the direction. There's another floating box over there. I guess it, like, marks the edge of, like... Um... Chunks or something. Yeah, the wind's, uh... The sound's still kind of good for the wind. We could probably pull it in a bit actually. A bit tighter. About there. My main thing is to catch fish all the time. I need to cook about... If I can cook four fish at a time, that's probably the best optimal use of the firewood. As we're fishing, we can kind of make sure that we're going in the right direction. Obviously, we're facing west and we're going east. It's another one. Is this a cell box as well? What is this? What does it say? Something about selling and something or whatever. <laughs> um. That's okay. As long as we keep seeing those cell boxes, we'll know we're on the right course because I think they're all in a straight line all the way to Dragon's Cliffs. If we start seeing them on our right hand side, we've know we've gone too far to the left. I mean, is that cheating? Come on, fishy, fishy. Oh, this is an eel. They're the best you can catch. We've got four fish. I'll probably start cooking those now. Um, because I don't know how long they take to cook, really. that up, have to cook, have to cook, have to cook, where's the eel gone? Oh, did not cook the eel? I think because the eel was so good at, oh. The eel's already too good. Uh, I think 
it's cooking. It didn't say up to cook, but I pressed F and it went on there, so. Make sure we continue on the right course. We're doing okay. I just got a good feeling about this voyage. So far, everything's been all right. To be fair, we haven't had any storms yet, and I really don't want a storm. Because you know what storms mean. But so far, we've had good omens. Good omens. I mean, to be fair, we can still just probably see dragons. No, we can't. No, I mean, uh, Gold Rock City. No, we can't see Gold. No, we can. We can just see Gold Rock City there in the sunlight there. In the actual sunlight. In the actual su setting sun. The only thing I'm concerned about is that we may not have enough water. But hopefully we do. Four barrels. That should be enough, right? We haven't got the best wind. As in the wind's a little bit... We're heading a little bit into the wind. At least we don't have to be attacking, because that would be the worst. We can just continue this easterly course. And everything's gonna be ever and everything's gonna be alright. There we go. We've got the lantern turned on. Look, watch these cook. I don't know if they're cooked or not. How do you tell? Oh, we can look at the North Star. Hang on. Well, it's not too dark. Where's our uh, quadrant? If we can head in east, north over here. That's the one. No, that's the one there. Oh no, I've, I've dropped it. What happened? Oh, it's here! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I was so worried. I pressed the wrong button and I dropped it. I, I, I pressed left and stuff. It made a big bang noise as well. Yeah, that's that's kind of what... We want to keep it like that. So, burn that vision into your mind. That's what we want to keep. Okay, let's put that down again. Oh, are these, um, hang on. These definitely look. Let's have one of these. I don't know if it's burnt or if it's just cooked. It wasn't the best. Well, I'll save the other two. For another day? I don't know. What am I doing wrong, guys? Alright, let's have some water. Put that away. And let's get some sleep. Make sure we're heading in the right direction before we sleep. Yeah, we're going east. Going east. We could go a little bit left, but I think we're pretty much good. I'll turn the lantern out and then get. let's get some sleep. Good night, everybody. Okay, it's the morning. I thought we might as well wake up now. We haven't got all of our sleep back, but we've got daylight, so that's good enough. Are we still heading in the right, the right direction, first of all? We're still heading east. We're still heading east. What's the wind like? The wind is a bit more behind us now, so let's. Well, it's, it's less. It's more than. It's more than to the right. It's yeah. It's it's all the way. Let's do, let's do it like this. This is good wind. This is good wind. Good wind. As long as we still go into the right direction, let's go just a little bit to the right. Day thirty-six of our maritime career. Day three on our voyage to Dragon Cliffs. Last night we had two fish that were cooked, overcooked, who knows, but cooked on the fire. We woke up, we're going in the right direction. The wind is favorable now. 
the waves are picking up a bit, but yesterday we successfully used not only the North Star Quadrant for navigation, but also the Sundial Compass thingamabob, whatever you call it. Food, drink, and morale remain high. Potards out. Okay, it's good, it's good. How's the wind? How's the wind? Okay, put it in a bit. Now that we've corrected our course a bit. Put it in a bit. There we go. Okay. Beautiful day. It's a beautiful morning. Okay. My main thing that I have to do is stay on top of the fishing. We've got two fish in reserve there, cooked, but that's no reason to rest on our laurels. Uh, every time I lose something, I, every time I lose something, I worry, I worry that I've, l I've let it fall out the back of the ship or something. Grab a hook, yeah. Not going perfectly east. I'll correct that after I catch something. No, no, no. No, no, 